Well, top doctors all agree that the vaccines being put in people's arms right now should work against the new COVID variants that are being detected around the world. But health officials now have some new guidance about mask wearing to protect you from these more contagious strains. Stephanie Gosk has that story. This morning, less than a month after first being detected in the U.S., the U.K. variant of COVID-19 has been found in at least 23 states. As health experts warn, the mutation could become the dominant strain by March. This strain has the potential to spread very quickly in this country. While researchers are working to determine if the variant has a higher death rate, it's clear the strain is much easier to transmit. To prevent a more disastrous surge, Doctors say it's time to double down on mask wearing. This is not something to wait on. We should be getting higher quality masks and people should be wearing higher quality masks more or less right away. While N95 masks are still the gold standard, blocking 95% of particles, they may be harder to find and should be reserved for healthcare workers. Experts now say the next best thing may be double masking. Wearing two masks helps improve the filtration ability of the mask in both directions. And so it helps protect you better and it helps protect others. Researchers at Virginia Tech found layering two cloth masks will up the efficacy from 50% to 75%. And wearing a three layer mask can block up to 90% of particles, providing near N95 protection. Ideal for so-called high risk situations like traveling, going to the grocery store, or gathering with others. You want to wear your best possible mask, which includes multiple layers, ideally some kind of filter material and a really good fit. Experts say wearing a single lower grade medical face covering like a KF94 or a double layered cloth covering with a high thread count will provide a basic level of protection if there's a secure fit. The bottom line, more layers mean more protection and those loose fitting or single layer coverings are just not enough. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News.